I asked you for questions about a relationship, and you gave us a bunch. How you doing? I'm a little sick. I'm yeah. a little sick. We're in Kentucky right now. We're visiting your family. Kentucky. This is not our kitchen. Narrow. You said that with disdain. I don't have disdain or dat dain. <laughs> <laughs> There's no dishwasher. It's a little lacking in counter space. It's interesting how when you walk into a room, you have so many opinions, and my mind is blank. Yeah. Which video or challenge has brought you closer together, and which has caused the most conflicts? And what just turned on? I think it's the heat. <sighs> That's fine. I can think of one that caused quite a bit of challenge in the distant past, China cakes. Oh, China cakes. I was so mad. I don't remember you being that mad. You I was really frustrated. You wanted me to overact things and I <laughs> barely wanted to be doing it at all. Some yeah. people say do more of those. No, we're not and, going to though. And now I'm reminded why we didn't do more of those. Maybe I would be better at it now. I still get annoyed with you when you're like angrier, more, bigger. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what that means. Well, these days I'm more sensitive to other people not being comfortable on camera. I didn't think I realized it as much back in the old days because I was so comfortable on camera. Right. But I love that video. I don't actually have a problem with the video. If there is a, any conflict at all when we're doing a challenge together, you can just stop and it's fine. We did 10,000 steps a day, your knee started hurting, you stopped. We were gonna do yoga together, you didn't wanna do yoga together, so we. So I just did it. And it's fine because this channel isn't just us two doing challenges all the time. And it's been nice that there really hasn't been much expectation for me to participate unless I want to. And to make it easier, I just did it by myself and allowed China to do it on her own time. Yes. So how much did you do in your own time? None, zero. One that brought us closer together. I feel like these question and answer videos. Well, cause it's like a time that we talk to each other. Mm -hmm. It's not just our kid what we're gonna have for dinner. Also the watching the Christmas movies videos. Those, those are, are really fun. A shared interest and we're talking about something that's not the minutia of our lives. Yeah. We should do another Christmas movie well, video. Let's do it right year. now. Oh, okay. Okay, in, in March. Who would you choose to play each of you in a film about your life? Who would direct it? I'm kind of obsessed with Florence Pugh right now, so I would choose Florence Pugh. And then she'd direct as well? Uh, sure, she would okay. probably be great. Same for me, Florence Pugh and she would direct. Okay, if you like Lindsay Lohan Parent Trap, yeah. where she plays both characters. <laughs> that, yes. <laughs> What's something that you love about being married and or having a kid that you didn't think you would enjoy before? Being married, I can't think of anything because it's the same as when we were dating. When we rent a car, we don't have to pay extra for an extra driver. 300 more cars, <clears throat> it will make the wedding cost worth it. I think it, we would need to maybe rent more cars then. Okay, oh my God. What about having a kid? The hard fought wins, what she's eating, how much she's eating. When we introduce her to something new that is a little more adventurous and she goes for it and she likes it. And then she takes pride in being a little more adventurous. But it's amazing how much of the struggle is erased when you have those positive moments. I thought a lot of parenting would be more of a chore than it is. Some parenting still is definitely a chore. Absolutely. But a lot of it, I just get enjoyment out of seeing her enjoying it. We just played Candyland. No. No. Chutes and Ladders. I don't like games based on luck. No. But I enjoy playing it with Ada. Yeah. yeah. So, Do you make an effort to have your own things you enjoy separately or do you like to do all things together? I think we spend more time apart now than we did before. Yeah. yeah. I miss you. I miss you. We're also together a lot too. We're also fine. You like go out and do stuff with your friends and stuff. And I have friends. We, we have friends. We have friends. <laughs> I'm not trying to brag, but you know who you are. Paul. I... Gary. Who's Paul? Um, are you? you? You don't know him. You're keeping things from me? Yeah. I don't know that we actively tried. We just are where we are. Yeah. We're super balanced. I think it's just a base level open communication we have about what we want mm -hmm. all the time. Like if I want to go out and do something, yeah. you let me. If you want to go and do something, I let you. And it's not like we're calculating in our mind like, well, this you had this many hours and you had this many <laughs> hours. It's just how you feel. Unless you are doing calculations in your head. I mean, you have had like 17 and a half hours this month and I've only had six. Oh my so. God. I, I really? mean, or whatever. Do pigeons have feelings? Yeah. I mean, what do we mean by feelings? Betrayal. That's the first place you of, go to with uh, feelings. Vaclimped. Oh yeah, they definitely feel yeah. vaclimped. I don't care because they are birds and eagles are birds. I traditionally like to punch eagles. You bring up a good point. They are birds. <laughs> and What's your dream vacation? Redo vacation that we took when I was like five weeks pregnant. Ireland, Ireland. Amsterdam, Brussels. I say Ireland because we went to two places. Went to the city of Ireland, the city of Amsterdam, and the city of Belgium. We planned the vacation and I was not pregnant and it was miserable. I had a great time. It was 
Love Awful. That. It was the two weeks that I felt sickest. But you know what? My dream vacation is to redo that with you. Or Costa Rica, Japan again. Or redo our honeymoon. Oh, because yeah. I was six months pregnant when we went on our honeymoon. No. And I was sick the whole time. Yeah, and no. We were in Edinburgh, Scotland. Mm-hmm. I want to go back. That. I want to go back. And when I'm not sick. Okay, next one. <laughs> My husband and I have different preferences on tattoos. I, like China, have a large sleeve that is growing. Craig, I know you have one. My husband doesn't have any. How do you guys navigate the convo surrounding tattoos? I would not entertain one smidge of you expressing a preference. Luckily, I also do not care. We yeah. would not have made it this far. One thing I love about you is your fierce independence. Thank you. And also, I literally do not care if someone has a tattoo. No preference. And I do not understand people who do care. I don't <laughs> understand it. Why would it matter? I don't know. Okay, moving on. A lot of people think a relationship should be equal. What is your opinion on this sentiment? How do you consider the division of labor in your relationship? The difference between equality and equity. Equality is where everything is the same, no matter what. I think that that's an impossible thing to fight for in a relationship. I think that that would lead to a lot of scorekeeping. Equity, meeting people where they are, there are definitely times where I need more support mm -hmm. than you do. Like sometimes you have to pick up the other person's slack. If I'm getting to a point where I'm weighing what someone did versus what I did, you're never going to be happy. You're always going to be looking for that. To me, it's just about mood and in the moment. If I feel like doing the work I wanted, I'm going to do it. Luckily enough, we end up getting the work done. There are people that might really not pull their weight and then you have to maybe measure it. But I still think that that goes back to equity and what's the reason behind that person really not pulling their weight, incapacitating mental health struggles? Yeah. Or is it just neglecting everything else just because I don't want to like devote the time to it? But I think this all goes back to our core philosophy of just open communication and telling each other what we want or need. And, and, and trusting. And assuming positive intent. If someone is tired or unable to do the physical labor in the moment, well, that's fine. Mm -hmm. They probably did something before. Yeah. yeah. Or they're just going through something. Yeah. We don't have a specific system. Just that. It's just, yeah. Communication. Just is what it is. Craig, describe a China meltdown. Does she scream or is it the cold shoulder for a week? China, describe a Craig meltdown. Does he stay in the basement or slam doors or say fine in a particular way? <laughs> Yeah. Craig doesn't have meltdowns. I can get a little whiny, but in a jokey way. I can have meltdowns at There's the situation. More existential meltdowns? Yeah. yeah. What happens to me is I am so dysregulated and overstimulated that I need to just retreat. Known you long enough to be like, not go, hey, what's wrong? Hey, Oh yeah. tell me what's wrong. What's going work. on? That won't work. Often, if we do talk, I'm not going to help. I'll try to help and that will, <laughs> you'll be annoyed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't want help. Does she ever get tired of the dinging noise when you have a twitchy eye? Did she ever find out about the clones? Um, well, now I'm annoyed by it. It doesn't happen that often. Normally you close both eyes at the same time. Yeah. I try to, because yeah. sometimes if I accidentally, oh, see. The clones, I do know about. I haven't seen any of them in a while. It would kind of solve a lot of our problems. That's opening a Pandora's box. Hands off. I would not tell them anything. You could You better keep them. your hands off my clones. <laughs> what is a good sign that your partner is listening? She puts down her phone. Yeah. Sometimes we'll start saying something and then I'll pause and, <laughs> and wait for her to put her phone down yeah. and then continue talking. Yeah. But you don't wait for me to stop looking at my phone. No, I don't. <laughs> I just keep going. And then I'm like, did you hear me? And I'll be like, no, say it again. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Eye contact, Eye contact, not looking at something else. Yeah. In this modern age, if we're not looking at a phone, we're probably listening because we can't have our minds focus on nothing. No, that would be way too uncomfortable. Yeah. I just made a video about that. Sitting with my thoughts, ew. Who are your childhood celebrity crushes and how do they compare to both of you respectively? For a while in early Wheezy Waiter, it was Scarlett Johansson, but that wasn't childhood. No. Childhood. You might've acted like a child, but. Yeah, childhood, it was Jennifer Connelly. Oh, nice. And how do you compare? Miles above, you're my dream. But also there's similarities in the way you look, maybe the way you act. I don't know her personally. <clears throat> My childhood crush. Well, two. I don't even know that most people would know who this is. Ted Neely, Jesus. <laughs> in Jesus Christ Superstar, Dirty Dancing, Era, Patrick Swayze. Those are my two favorite movies and they have been my favorite movies since I was a 
toddler. I don't think I'm anything like either of them. Well, you are a lot more alive than one of them. I love that about you. Wow, bare minimum. Okay. No. Is there a particular notable communication skill or strategy that has had a positive impact on your relationship and navigating life together? Is there? Just being honest. Oh, okay. Okay, that's it. Now before the next question, there's something I need to do. Go to the bathroom? Yes. No, thank the sponsor of this video, Beam. Beam's Dream. Beam Dream is a drink blend filled with the highest quality sleep promoting ingredients. Yeah, but what's in it, bozo? Epigenin, reishi, magnesium, L-theanine, melatonin. So quit your melagronin. All right. One might call it luxurious. I just did, a little while ago. Luxurious. As many of you know, sleep has eluded me for quite some time. Observe. <clears throat> See? Can't sleep. Haven't had my beam dream yet. When I get enough sleep, everything is so much better. I have more energy. I'm more optimistic. My mood is deeply affected by how much sleep I get. Not only does it help me fall asleep and stay asleep, but it makes me actually want to go to sleep at a decent hour instead of binge watching Cobra Kai. And it comes in many flavors. Currently I'm drinking mint chip and my taste buds love it, don't you buds? Yes we do, Craig. They're my buds. And you can get it with or without CBD. I do it without. But you can do what you want. I'm not your CB daddy, but I'm no expert. But you know who is? Experts who conducted a clinical study. 93% of participants reported dream helped them get to a more restful night's sleep and wake up feeling more refreshed. And you can get a special deal right now. Click the link below or click the QR code on screen. Don't click the QR code, actually scan it. You gotta scan it. And use code Wheezy to get up to 35% off. 35, that's seven times six, if that helps you remember. Thank you, Beam Dream, for a wonderful night's sleep. Now, let's get back to a conversation with my dream, China. Well, I already did that, though, so I'm gonna take a nap now. What is a change in the other person over the years that you've come to love? I've come so to- So many things. You mellowed out a lot. I, I was angry great. before. No, I mean, I wanted to go out, and we went out all the time before we had a kid, but I am perfectly comfortable staying in. You've mellowed into that sort of easy routine. You've tamed me. I've tamed you. Tamed the beast. Your ability and intense devotion to being a mother is incredible. Well, thank you. When I married you, I wasn't like, I bet she has an intense uh, devotion to motherhood. I didn't know that. And when we moved to Madison, you have been very active locally in the community and joining various groups, just connecting with people, mm -hmm. making friends. And you told me that you've never felt more at home than you do where we live now. Madison is definitely home. I made you a Wisconsinite. All will you talk about are cheese curds and the Packers, the Badgers, beer, and you always go, oh! I love saying oh mittens well yeah that's more of a michigan thing but yeah. a lot of people in wisconsin try to say the mitten and then people in michigan yeah. get mad michigan i would argue does look more like a mitten oh yeah. wisconsin has a little thumb little baby thumb. yeah it's like a very decrepit withering thumb yeah but it's there it's a mitten too <laughs> part two what would you do in an alternative universe where we'd all have three arms and only one eye pretty much the same stuff except lack depth perception. Where would the extra arm be? That changes a lot. I'd be more efficient cleaning up the kitchen. But yeah, then maybe. again, lack of depth perception. Where is the extra arm? Where does it emanate from? Out your butt, okay, moving on. Well, then I would use it as a stool. There's already stool down there. Oh my God. How often do you have the, when we win the lottery, what will we spend the money on conversation? Almost never, because Craig doesn't like to play the lottery. No, I've, I've made the joke multiple times on Wheezy Waiter. I'm gonna go buy a lottery ticket, and then I throw money in the garbage. Yeah. <laughs> but if we did win the lottery, what would we do? Well, how much did we win? $800 million. Oh my God. Figure out ways to help charitable causes. Okay, let's get past this. Let's just go to the stuff you want. Really okay, don't. Mother Teresa, <laughs> let's go. I would probably get a lot of tattoos. You'd get a lot of tattoos. New clothes. Tattoos and new clothes, that's it? I don't know, I can't think. I would probably try to start a film production company, hire people that know how to run a film production company. Maybe it would also be a company that does YouTube content. Start up my media empire is what I'm saying. Okay, travel more impulsively. Let's go to Australia. But can we use a eco-friendly airplane? Boat. I don't know how eco-friendly that is either. A sailboat, it uses the wind. Okay, so we're gonna buy a sailboat and we're gonna travel the world. That's the final answer. Oh God, we're gonna die. And then Ada will get a lot of money. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's the most annoying thing about your spouse? Sometimes making puns and jokes when I'm trying to be serious. I've known that about myself for a long time. <laughs> that is annoying about me. And you know what? It's not that annoying. Two things. Be careful. Two things. Tread lightly. It wasn't even hard. Leaving things on surfaces. 
Yeah. Your horrible disdain for water. <laughs> if there's like a few drops here or there. It's not a few drops. She freaks so. out. Uh -huh. And so you're just like washing, washing your hands, and then you immediately reach up and turn the faucet off where you're, and, and it does this too, it drives me freaking crazy. The water hasn't finished running off your hands. It's like a river of water that just goes and do this into the sink thing. I do that too. I think there's something wrong with the, the sink. No. I think that's what it is. No. I think that's what it is. The sink is fine. <laughs> but I'm not just talking about at the sink. Anytime there's little drops of water, you seem to get very upset. It bothers yet, me. Yet you don't mind me. food, like actual food on counters and tables, just m literal rotting food. That doesn't bother you. Literal but, rotting food. Well, it's rotting, isn't it? It's sitting there. You leave that. You don't care. But if it's water, oh my God. Yeah. 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 But also leaving things on surfaces. Whenever I clear a surface and put stuff away, I'm like, clock is set. Now there's a clear surface. It will be covered in stuff rather than putting things away. <laughs> you have a fair point. And I don't say this is because of parenting because you did this before <laughs> you were a parent. <laughs> I don't think you blame everything on parenting, but I knew no, that you were going to do it. I, I knew you were going to do it that time. Because it does play a part. It does. It does. No, I'm crying. <laughs> and I'm always grabbing things and going, what's the story with this? It's nasty. What's the story with this? Liter legitimately, I want to know where this goes because I want to put it away. And then I say, well, a long time ago, it was seven trees. Yeah. And then they were cut down yeah. and processed and sent to a paper factory and made into napkins. <laughs> and they traveled to the restaurant and then they were put in our bag. Yeah. And now they live here in our home. Good story. Thanks. Next question. Who does the best impersonation of a waffle? Neither of us have ever done an impersonation of a waffle. Uh, speak for yourself. Ready? You win. No, I think yours was good too because it was round. You're, well, not all waffles are round, though. Oh, shoot. Was that racist? No. Okay, now we're moving over to Reddit. So it's going to have more of a Reddit feel. China had any other name, but it still sounded like a country. What name would you give her? Bulgaria. <laughs> <laughs> Albania. Zimbabwe. Canada. Liechtenstein. Liechtenstein. Guam. That's a territory in, of the United States. Is it Guam? Guam. You can still say Guam. Guam. Nobody can stop me from saying Guam. Guam. Exercise your freedom, baby. Yep. This is America. <laughs> Wait, America. There you go. That is people's names. That is people's names. Oh, South no. Africa. Uh, I give up. Do you feel like an asshole while vlogging? I do, yes. Still. Like in public or at in, home? In public. Well, a little bit at home. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. My video is about me, 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 and what I think. Still to this day, and I've done it many, 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 many times. You use your phone because yeah. phone cameras are very good now and it's fine. Oh, it's so much easier because then people will think I'm just talking to somebody. There were times in the past you would want to bring the big camera out. Yeah. And it is not inconspicuous. No. It is very spicuous. It's super spicuous. Not a fan. Boo. <laughs> Zero out of ten. <laughs> when I'm in the flow of it, I, I'm able to do it and get over yeah. it. Craig became a zombie. Would you let him eat your brain or would you hit him with a pipe and run away? For Craig, if you were a zombie and trying to hit you with a pipe and ran away, do you think that would be a sign you would seek couples therapy? These are more readity. I would hit him with a pipe and run away. Good answer. Yeah. Because I wouldn't be me anymore. And if I were a zombie and she hit me on the head, here's what I'd do. I'd go, ugh, because I'm a zombie. I'm not going to see couples therapy. And all the couples therapists are probably zombies. Right. What is your celebrity relationship name? Example, Benifer is Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez. What is yours? We have one. Unfortunately, it's Krina. Krina. It's not the best one. I love it. <laughs> Our friends have some really good ones. Jeliza. Majestica. Majestica, for crying out loud. Yeah. Cra... Cra... No. no. <laughs> There's no other way to do it. We've talked for like an hour and a half. I'm really amazed that we were able to do this. Without fighting? Without it all falling apart? No. Oh, without her interrupting. Yeah, that's yep. pretty good. And Love I look you. forward to loving you until I die. Okay. Yeah. I and then after I die, if, you know, depending what happens. Sure. Yeah. I love you, and I look forward to loving you for a million years. You're going to live that long? Well, 
Yes, or if I die and there's an afterlife. But then a million years is up and then split skis? We'll have to reevaluate our relationship with that. Then that you're gonna time. go take a look at Patrick Swayze, see what's <laughs> going on. What about Ted Neely? You know. Which one? It, you know what? I'll save you the trouble. Just stick with me. Okay. I love you. I love you. <laughs> ah! What was that? Oh, you punched another eagle? I did. <laughs> no. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I uh, hope we informed you about a lot of things. Hope you learned something or didn't. Yep. That's, that's good. Balance out your hopes so that you're always happy. Mm -hmm. So if you guys come in here, I'm making something. Okay. Alrighty. Want to wink? Well, Mommy, you can come in because it's for Dad. Oh. Dad cannot come in because it's for him. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. I'm making something giant for him. Oh, wow. wow. That's exciting. Hopefully, eventually, I can come in there. Nope. And I never get to see it. Nope. Okay. One, two, three. I assume you winked because I didn't tell you what to do on three. <laughs> yes, I winked. Okay. Now I'm going to put my Invisalign back in. Okay. Not a sponsor. Yeah. On screen, I think I have the previous video, which is uh, the value of being alone, of solitude. And YouTube thinks you'll like that video. And you can subscribe. And support me on Patreon. I've never uh, put things in my mouth during an end screen before, so that's fun. That's good. Yeah. <laughs>